Hi guys, today a review of the Corsair MM200 Pro mousepad, my main mousepad for the moment. Let's go! So guys, today, um, as I said, I will review this MM200 Pro mousepad, which is one of the last mousepads Corsair released in Europe. Uh, I don't know how it is in States or somewhere else, but this is one uh, state-of-the-art mousepads here with a different logo than the other ones. Um, I also have here the MM250 Champion Series and the MM350 Champion Series, which basically uh, were awesome pets in my opinion, uh, until I got this one. Um, what's different here? As you can see, maybe the, the, the packaging is a little bit different. It's a little bit bigger and it has another color and um, here is no programmer somewhere like Tubson or this um, guy here, who is he called? I don't know man, Puppy from Team Secret, sorry bro I don't know you, but um, some uh, guys from, um, from some reviews told me that you're very insane, one of the most best players in the world, appreciate it, very good man, all the best to you, uh, but this pet is way better than these. 350 champion series. Why is it better? One thing is it's six millimeter thick. It's insane thick and um, that's the only pet I found so far in the market with six millimeters in thickness. Um, it comes in 45 to 40 and it's a pretty solid pet guys. Um, it has like um, these rubber bag with these with the aero structure but it's pretty deep because of the thickness of the sponge it's like um, it's very very grippy because of this and one thing I didn't know when I first played the pad it's coated I thought it's a hybrid pad like it's made the fibers are from nylon or whatever but it's not it's just standard fabric with a coating um, why is it a coating or where I know it from? It's from the information from their own website. It's like it says it's, um, it's water resistant. It's um, not so that you can um, do, I don't know, your coke on it and you can just make it down. It's just like um, if you have some spray or sweat on it, you can just swipe it down more easy. But the, um, the liquid will go into the texture if it's longer on the pad. So it's not totally um, waterproof. It's just uh, has a higher resistance against water. So, um, and the other thing is um, that uh, they say it is coated, but they don't exactly tell you what the coating is. So basically it's a standard fabric with a coating, but the coating is very good, guys. Um, I'm playing it like 10 days now, I think, um, eight to 12 hours a day, um, live on stream, the Laurent and Kovacs. And uh, I can tell you um, that you can see me, I'm a rough dude, I play with, uh, I play the, the whole time with my sleeve, which is a rough one. It's not like a, a, a sleeve made out of a nylon or a synthetic, it's pretty rough. And um, I play the whole time here. And I play with nearly my whole arm on the, on the pad, so my mouse is only at the top end. And this brings me to one of the downsides of these pads. The edges of the pads will come up a little bit. Um, my mouse cable, uh, my paracord, uh, put it up the, the, the edges a little bit. Uh, we will make a close-up of this for you so you can see it. And um, my sleeve um, also rubs up the other side, uh, so the, the side of the bottom of the pad. Uh, so it comes up a little bit. I will watch this for the, for the future. Um, I hope it will not slip up in total so the pad, the pad gets uh, loose on these points or unplayable. But my impression in total is that this is a pretty solid pad for 29 euros. It could be 5 euro less in my opinion, but I think because of the thickness of the, of the sponge and the rubber and because um, of the coating of the pad, they have to make it 30 euro. Uh, I think this one will cost in production like uh, 12 to 15 euro in my opinion. And on bigger size, they will pay like 9 euro in production. So they have to make some money and it's okay. You can get it on Amazon. and. Um, from my point out, it's um, for playing the Laurent, it's pretty good because you have the control of these, um, uh, the stopping point of the MM250 Champion Series, but you also have a higher speed than uh, on the MM350 through the coating. But of the thickness of the rubber, uh, you, have to, you still have the stopping point. So you can make very fast flicks. With the but with the very good stop feeling on this pad, so this is why it made uh, made to 
That's, this is the reason why this pet is my main pet right now. Because uh, I have an awesome feeling the whole time. I don't have to think about uh, is it too fast, is it too slow. It's just right for me. That's the pet I prefer over a uh, zero from Artisan. I prefer over a uh, uh, Hayadotsu from Artisan, over a uh, Hien, over a Ku, over a Raiden. I have all these pets here. But this one, it's that's a better pet, guys. Um, Sure, it's only my opinion, but uh, from my kind of view, it's like if you want to get an artisan, you have to wait. It's expensive. And why you have to see for just such a pet, if you can grab this one just easily on Amazon and it's there and it's awesome. Just try it, guys. Um, I'm, I'm normally not a huge fan of Corsair, Razer and Logitech and stuff because um, I like the small suppliers who make... Um, individual pets, individual mice and stuff who um, doing a lot of brainstorming to um, to evolve the products to a point where these mass production pets are not but this is a solid pet for a fair price and uh, I think you like, I hope you like my review and see you on the next one guys. Bye bye.